Hey guys, I believe this is called the waiting paradox. On average, a bus arrives every 20 minutes. If you arrive at a random time to the bus stop, how long do you expect to wait? To get the answer to this, if on average a bus arrives every 20 minutes, then you expect to wait 20 minutes. And we could put a box around that. Next, a train arrives exactly every 20 minutes. If you arrive at a random time to the train platform, now how long do you expect to wait? This is 10 minutes. Let's put a box around it and let me explain why. Pick a random hour and here's the train arriving every 20 minutes. If you show up right in the middle of one of those, that would be a 10 minute wait. And you could potentially show up over here, which would be a 15 minute wait, or you could also show up here with a five minute wait. And there's that level of symmetry where for that 15 minute, there's also a five minute wait. The average of those two is 10 minutes. You could also show up at either one of these two, those will average at 10 minutes. You show up at these two, average is 10 minutes. All of these will have an average of 10 minutes. And the same thing is true for these other periods. They all have equal probabilities of all average out to 10 minutes. And if we look at two hours, it's gonna be the exact same thing. Or if we look at four, Four hours where a train shows up every 20 minutes is going to be the exact same idea. It's going to average to be 10 minutes. So why does random arrival give us an expected value of 20 and exact arrival gives us an expected value of 10? For both of them, on average, you're going to see a train every 20 minutes, but we get different answers. Let me give you an example of what randomness can make happen. We could have a four hour period that looks something like this. There's a five minute gap here, then a 35 minute gap, then a 60 minute gap. We have a bunch of four minute gaps and so on. This has 12 buses showing up in the four hour period. So it's going to be 20 minutes on average. Average. So let's calculate the wait time for this scenario. Your chance of showing up in this first five minutes is five out of 240. And then your average wait time is half of the five minutes or 2.5. And for this one, we have a 35 out of 240 chance of showing up here. And the expected wait time is half of 35 or 17.5. And for this period here, there's 60 minutes out of 240. That's your probability of showing up in that time frame. And then your expected wait here is going to be half of 60 or 30 minutes. And then for this one, we have four minutes out of 240 chance of getting in there. And if we do show up in there, it's expected that we'll wait two minutes. And there happens to be five of these, so we can multiply it by five. And it's the same calculations for the rest of this stuff. All this gives us 18.1875 minutes. Notice how this very realistic scenario gave us something pretty close to 20 minutes. A large reason for it is these times where you have to wait a long time, you're more likely to show up in those periods, and those periods have a longer wait time. That has a huge influence on why it's higher. If you want to see an extreme case, an unlikely one like this, where no buses show show up for four hours and then all of a sudden all 12 buses show up right at the end. This could be due to a really bad traffic jam or something like that. But in this case, you have a 240 out of 240 chance of showing up here and your expected wait time would be 120 minutes. And that 120 is the same idea. You could show up right in the middle or you have equal probabilities of showing up on these two that would average out to 120. This here is equal to 120 minutes. So there is a scenario where you would expect to wait 120 minutes. That is way higher than the 20 here. Even though this is very unlikely, it's still a possibility. Luckily, we don't have to take all these scenarios into account. As long as we know on average it shows up every 20 minutes, we know that our expected wait time will be 20 minutes. And I hope this kind of explains why. How exciting.